welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. Today, we're going to share tips from you, our viewers. I really appreciate you guys sending in your comments. I ask you if you would send in comments and tips to help other management companies and other managers go through this COVID new norm. And you did, I appreciate it. Because of respect and privacy, I won't mention any property names, I won't mention any manager names, I won't even mention any states. Thank you. And let's get started. Today, we have one that says, Vicki, this is how we are handling our recertification process in keeping with social distancing. We use a lot of post-it notes, flags, and put statements on each form identifying what it is. We have not entered any resident, but stay outside. I think she's saying they haven't let any residents enter, but they stay outside and are available to answer any questions that the residents may have. Please call me should you have any questions. Thank you so much for that comment. So she has post-it notes and sign here, and this is your recertification or I need. That helps a lot. This next one says, Vicki, we have seniors and trying to keep them engaged is a problem. The local high school students and community members have done three parades around our building and the nursing home next door. The noise is deafening, but it's so much fun. We placed the videos on our Facebook page. One Friday, they bought flowers to the residents. The next one. Afraid to work remotely and leave the property without the presence of management. We adjusted our office hours, conducted in-person interviews by appointments only, requiring masks to be worn, and practiced social distancing. Had certain days and times that documents could be dropped off or picked up from the office. The next one, my company sent out a personal contact questionnaire to gather up to date information from our residents. It asks for home and cell phone numbers, also email addresses. That's a good way to update your contact information. And if we have to go back in to a lockdown, communication is going to be important. That's a real good one. Our company did weekly newsletters to communicate with residents and let them know that the biggest info and changes from HUD, CDC, and our management company. It lists the instructions for ARs and IR certification and phone numbers of needed agencies. That's nice too. We send letters to all of our residents reminding them that although there is a moratorium on evictions, that their rent is still due. The letter asks that they contact the office if they needed a repayment plan if they could not keep rent current. That's really important. Uh, these were a few comments that we received, not all of them. However, our marketing department has issued something that's titled Multifamily Housing During COVID-19. It's on our website. It's a nice brochure with a lot of other questions and answers. And I wish you would download it and read it. It will be very helpful to you. Until next time, we'll see you again on Tuesday Tip. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.